Tonight's other major headline, the coronavirus pandemic, forcing the largest public school system in America to delay the start of the school year. New York City bowing to concerns from the teachers union. The U.S. now with more than 184,000 lives lost. Tonight, a new warning from Dr. Anthony Fauci about Labor Day weekend and the days that follow and his response when asked if President Trump still trusts him. Here's ABC's Eva Pilgrim. Just days before return to school for more than a million children in New York City, classes delayed until September 21st to avoid a teacher strike over COVID safety demands. We've heard from everyone in our schools that have said we need some more time. Parents say they just want their kids to be safe. That has to be my first concern is the safety of my son. That has to be. I have no other choice. Safety comes first, and so I'm going to put my trust in them. We recently got a look at preparations at New York's PS 532. Disinfection, space desks, and open windows. Oh, yeah, so we Principal don't. Kevin Bowles telling Tom yeah, they'd be brain. ready. Obviously, I take the safety of everybody in my community really seriously. And in spite of my confidence in this plan, there is of course, the reality that this is a scary and unknown virus. New York City schools now agreeing to randomly test students and staff each month. The federal government set to ship 150 million rapid tests to states to be used in the reopening of schools. The president again appearing to take issue with Dr. Anthony Fauci. I get along with him, but every once in a while he'll come up with one that I say, where did that come from? I inherited him. He was here. He was a part of this huge piece of machine. I didn't put anybody in charge. He was here. The nation's top infectious disease doctor brushing it off, saying he believes the president trusts his advice. I think that's kind of a distraction to pit me against the president. We're, we're, we're all on the same team. But Fauci once again finding himself at odds with the president, firmly dismissing a claim Trump retweeted, suggesting the death toll from the virus was only 9,000 because of patients with underlying conditions. That does not mean that someone who has hypertension or diabetes who dies of COVID didn't die of COVID-19. They did. So the numbers that you've been hearing, the 180,000 plus deaths are real deaths from COVID-19. Let that not be any confusion about that. It's not 9,000 deaths from COVID-19. It's 180 plus thousand deaths. Dr. Fauci urging states not to let Labor Day celebrations ruin the fall. Colleges already scrambling to contain new outbreaks on campus. Ohio State reporting nearly 500 cases in just the first week of school. The state hitting 1,400 cases today, the largest single day jump since July. The governor pointing to the return of college and grade school students. If we want our kids in school, which we do, the way to do that is for us to s slow this spread down. All right, Eva joins us now. And Eva, the Department of Health and Human Services now planning to launch an expensive new public health campaign, and some are talking about the cost of all this. That's right, Tom. ABC News has confirmed that the department is pitching a $250 million public relations push. According to a letter obtained by Politico, the goal is to defeat despair and inspire hope. Now, House Majority Whip Jim Clyburn says this looks like $250 million of taxpayer money being used politically, but the administration insists this is about health, not politics. Tom. All right, Eva Pilgrim for us. Eva, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.